Porto Williams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, I rise to take a, a short call. There's been some really useful contributions um, on the Reserves and Other Lands Disposal Bill, and I do want to make the point, Mr. Speaker, that this is a bill that will tidy up a whole lot of um, uh, a whole lot of issues in local communities. And it's the point that I want to. I only want to really make two particular arguments in, in this uh, final debate on this bill. And one is about community consultation. And the previous speaker talked about the length of time it's taken for communities to have input into this piece of legislation. I think seven years is an extraordinary amount of time to require communities to contribute to this piece of legislation. And I think it's a little disingenuous of that member to suggest that that is why it has taken so long to pass this bill through the House. Um, when the Minister introduced the third reading, he made three statements which I think are very relevant. He said that this bill um, determines land use of both public and private property. He said that it meant that obstacles are being removed and that the community Community interest is at the heart of this process. Um, Mr Speaker, I want to say that absolutely this bill is about, and it should be about, community consultation processes and how local and central government can work together to ensure that the community interests are indeed at the heart of the process. And this is where I want to make my second point, Mr Speaker, in this discussion. Um, I want to perhaps uh, pass a cautionary note for when um, this type of legislation may come to the House in the future with regard to what will happen around the residential red zone in the Canterbury area. In particular, the 80 or 90 per cent of residential red zone in Christchurch, which resides within the Christchurch East electorate. Because Mr Speaker, what will happen at that time is some very difficult conversations about the future use of that that land. Now, why it's relevant under the, um, the, in the context of this bill is that the uh, council and the government are talking about swaps of land which may um, uh, be used to, to ensure that the public have facilities that are useful for, for future use. And it may mean swaps between what is currently council land to what will become public land in the ownership of the Crown. And it's important to recognise that at the time that those consultations happen, that the public, the people of Christchurch East in particular, and the people of the wider Christchurch and Canterbury re region need to have a fulsome opportunity to discuss the use of that land so that we aren't bound up in legislation at a future time to unpick the difficulties and the, um, uh, the issues that may come about that. Um, Mr Speaker, I'm not going to speak any more on this. This bill has taken a long time to traverse its passage through the, through the House and I commend it. Thank you. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. The clerk will conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 in favour. New Zealand Labour. 32 in favour. Green Party. 12 votes in favour. New Zealand First. 12 votes opposed. Māori Party. 2 in favour. Ag New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Any other votes? The ayes are 107, the noes are 12, the motion is agreed to. Clerk will read the bill a third time. Reserve another lands disposal bill, third reading. Call on government orders of...